Gravity, as described by Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation, is the force that attracts two masses towards each other. The strength of this force depends on the masses of the objects and the distance between them. In the context of planets, this gravitational force is what keeps them in motion around the sun. In this video, we'll delve into the captivating topic of gravity and orbital mechanics, how planets move. Get ready for an amazing journey through the cosmos, so be sure to stay tuned until the very end. Planets move in orbits around the sun due to a balance between their inertia and the gravitational pull of the sun. Inertia is the tendency of an object to keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by an external force. The gravitational pull of the sun acts as this external force constantly changing the direction of the planet's motion, making it follow a curved path. When a planet is first formed or launched into space, it might have a certain amount of initial velocity. This velocity, combined with the gravitational pull of the sun, determines the shape of the planet's orbit. The most common type of orbit is an ellipse, which is a stretched out circle. The sun is located at one of the two foci of this elliptical orbit. As the planets move along its orbit, the gravitational force from the sun acts as a centripetal force, pulling the planet towards the sun. However, because of the planet's initial velocity and inertia, it keeps trying to move in a straight line. These two opposing forces, the gravitational force and the planet's inertia, creates a balance that results in the planet's continuous motion along its curved path. This motion follows Kepler's law of planetary motion, which were derived from the careful observations of astronomer Johannes Kepler. Kepler's law describes how planets move in their orbits. Each planet moves in an elliptical orbit, with the Sun at one of the two foci. A line segment joining a planet and the Sun sweeps out equal areas during equal intervals of time. This means that a planet moves faster when it's closer to the Sun, perihelion, and slower when it's farther away. Aphelion. The square of the orbital period of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. In simpler terms, planets closer to the Sun have shorter orbital periods than those farther away. The balance between inertia and the gravitational force not only determines the shape of a planet's orbit but also influences its speed at different points along the orbit. As the planet moves closer to the Sun, the gravitational force becomes stronger, causing the planet to accelerate. Conversely, as the planet moves farther away, the gravitational force weakens, leading to a decrease in its speed. This variation in orbital speed has important consequences. It's responsible for the changing seasons on Earth. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. When Earth is closer to the Sun during its orbit, it moves faster, causing the northern and southern hemispheres to experience summer. When Earth is farther from the Sun, it moves slower, resulting in winter. In addition to the gravitational pull of the Sun, planets also exert gravitational forces on each other. This interaction between celestial bodies is what gives rise to phenomena like tides on Earth or the intricate orbital patterns of moons around planets. It's worth noting that while Newton's law of universal gravitation provides a good approximation for understanding planetary motion, it wasn't until Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity that a more precise understanding of gravity was developed. Einstein's theory describes gravity as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. In a broader context of the universe, the same principles of gravity and orbital mechanics apply to all celestial bodies, from planets and moons to asteroids, comets, and even galaxies. The understanding of these principles has allowed us to predict and explain the behavior of objects in space, enabling us to send spacecraft to distant planets, explore the outer reaches of our solar system, and gain insights into the nature of the cosmos. Planets, like Earth, move around the Sun in a graceful dance orchestrated by the force of gravity. This force is like a cosmic glue that keeps everything connected in space. It pulls objects towards each other, and the strength of this pull depends on their masses and how far apart they are. When a planet, let's say Earth, starts moving around the Sun, it's like tossing a ball with a certain speed. But here's the catch, the Sun's gravity keeps tugging at the planet, trying to bring it closer. Yet, because the planet is moving forward, it kind of keeps missing the Sun. This tug of war between gravity and the planet's forward motion causes it to move in a curved path, an orbit. 
Imagine if you threw a stone horizontally while standing on a hill. The stone would fall to the ground because of gravity, but it would also travel forward because of the initial push you gave it. This combination of falling and moving forward creates a curved trajectory. And that's a bit like how planets move in space. The whole planetary motion thing is not just about planets around the sun. It's a universal dance. Moons twirl around planets, and even stars whirl around the centers of galaxies, all because of the gravity tango. In the bigger picture, the ideas of gravity and orbits have allowed us to explore space. We've sent satellites, robots, and even humans to learn more about our cosmic neighbors. It's as if we're uncovering the steps of the cosmic dance, a dance that connects everything in the vast expanse of the universe. In essence, the physics of space is like a breathtaking symphony, with gravity, motion, light, and countless other forces and particles creating a harmonious dance that shapes the universe. Think about throwing a ball in the air. It comes back down because of gravity. Now, imagine you throw the ball really fast. It might curve around the Earth before hitting the ground. This is similar to what planets do. They're moving so fast that they keep missing the sun, creating a curved path. Imagine a place with no walls, no ceilings, and no floor. That's space. It's like the ultimate stage where everything in the universe happens. But here's the twist. Space isn't just empty. It's full of things like stars, planets, and galaxies. It's a place where the rules of nature play out in the most incredible ways. The universe is like the ultimate show, with everything that exists, from the tiniest particles to the grandest galaxies. Stars are like super hot glowing balls of gas. They shine because they're burning in a special way. Not like a fire, but more like a nuclear party. Stars come in all sizes and colors, and they're like the universe's shining actors. Planets are like space wanderers that orbit stars. Earth is one of these planets, and it's just the right distance from the sun to have liquid water and all the things needed for life. Imagine a place where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. That's a black hole. They're like cosmic vacuums, sucking in everything around them. Even though we can't see them, we know they're there because of their effects on nearby stars and matter. There are some things we can't see but know they exist. Dark matter is like an invisible cloak that affects how galaxies move, and dark energy is like a mysterious force that's speeding up the expansion of the universe. These cosmic enigmas keep scientists scratching their heads. In a nutshell, space is the incredible backdrop where the universe unfolds its magic drama. Stars twinkle, planets dance, and galaxies spin in the vast expanse, creating a show that's been playing for billions of years. And as we explore and uncover its mysteries, we're just scratching the surface of the universe's grand story. So, that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video.